Hi Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things while I'm shuffling. Everything's in the description box uh, that you need to know. There will be an extended reading link as well. If you'd like to check it out, I will be doing an extended reading uh, the next three months from this reading to see where the energy goes. Also, if you'd like uh, to enter uh, my free personal reading giveaway, that de those details are below and how to contact me if you'd like a personal reading. So with that, Aries, let's get started here with your reading. Let's see what the energy is here for Aries. What's going on for Aries here in love? What can you show Aries about what's coming in for Aries in love? All right. Got the Four of Pentacles. We got Judgment. We got Four of Swords. Two fours there. We got the Death Rebirth card here. All right. And we got the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Aries, what I see here, I feel like there's a situation uh, that may be over with in your life, okay, when it comes to love. I feel like you're holding out for the one. I feel like you've learned a lot from the past. Uh, you've grown from the past. I feel like you've really taken some time to really think about a situation. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here, strong Scorpio. We also have Earth, we have Air, um, and you got the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're looking for something solid, something secure here. You also have the justice. What I'm going to say with that, and look at that upcoming here, you have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like upcoming here, Aries, there's, there is definitely a new uh, love prospect here about to happen for you. Um, I, and I feel like it's good karma. I feel like you may have been in a past karmic relationship. Um what I see here and I feel like you learn from that relationship and I feel like it's over okay now some of you may be actually deciding to you know completely end a situation uh, but I feel like you I feel like you're looking at this Aries in a practical way so uh, let's see what else the energy shows here for you Aries what else can you show Aries what else can you show Aries what else does Aries need to know? What's coming in for Aries in love? All right, so we got the Hangman, King of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Three of Pentacles. All right, interesting. And we got a Page of Wands. So I do see somebody. All right. I feel like um, either you or someone here is seeing things in a different perspective. So it's interesting here. You may have decided to put an end to something, but I feel like there could be somebody here. Maybe who's seeing things differently now, maybe because you're deciding to put an end to a situation. But I also get the energy. This can be you, right? You seeing things in a different perspective here, even though you may have love or feelings from somebody here in the past. Um, but I see somebody new here. You got an ace of swords. Okay. So I feel like you're very clear about what you want. You got the three of pentacles here as well. Oh, I'm going to say here, Aries, I feel like either a new person or the same person here that you may have had an ending with, you may get communication from. We're going to clarify some of these cards as we go. But, um, I mean, after I pull these final four, Let's see what else the energy shows here, Aries. I feel like some of you, there's an opportunity here with someone from your past, and some of you are putting an end to a past situation. Okay, we got the Ace of Wands. We've got two Aces now. We got the Seven of Cups. We have the Six. Oh boy. <laughs> The Six of Pentacles here, oh gosh. 
and we got the five of swords right and we have the ten of wands i want to look to see what's there ten of wands two of swords oh my gosh seven of pentacles here all right so aries this is what i'm seeing um oh, we're going to clarify we're going to see where it goes I feel here, Aries, that there is a situation either that ended or you're putting an end to a situation. I feel that there is someone here that probably kept you in limbo here with that, that hangman, right? You, things weren't going um, in the right direction or where you wanted here. You got the ace of wands there. Probably somebody who kept things casual. Uh, somebody who didn't give you a whole lot of clarity of where things were going here with this Ace of Swords. But um, it may not have been completely honest with you as well. Now we got the Three of Pentacles here. I feel potentially there's communication coming from someone here. This King of Cups energy. And it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. I see communication here. There's something that somebody here wants to express to you. I see this person, right? They're coming. They're in your energy here. They're engaging with you here. Some of you could actually um, work with this person in some sort of capacity. This could be somebody. Maybe you didn't know they had interest. But some of you, I feel this is someone that is wanting a, another opportunity or a second chance with you. Now you have the Ace of Wands. It's a tempting offer, uh, what I get here from you. You got the Seven of Cups, you got the Six of Pentacles, and you have the Five of Swords. So I feel that you're going to have mixed emotions about this situation. And I feel that, you know, I'm just going to say I'm picking up a past energy here. Now, I'm, we're going to clear this, clarify the Six of Pentacles because I do feel like there could be an opportunity for a new person to come into your life um, or you start talking with someone or maybe you're already talking with someone. So let's clarify. I'm going to start with that King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? All right. So we got the Strength card, Leo energy. I'm going to say we have all the energies on the board here and we have strong Scorpio and we have strong Leo energy. Six of Wands. Oh boy, look at that. Six of Pentacles. So, and the Empress. So they see you as the Empress here. Libra energy. This is someone I get here who... They have love for you. They definitely have love for you, but I feel like there's someone who holds back on, um, you know, it really expressing how much love that they have for you. There's someone I feel they want your attention, definitely want your attention. Uh, you know, they got the Seven of Cups here. I feel like this person is going to try and do something to get your attention. They want another opportunity. They want a second chance here with you. Now, the hangman here feels like they're seeing things from a different perspective. What What's different here um, with the hangman? What's this person seeing differently than maybe they did before? Three of swords. Oh, hangman again. High Priestess. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Sun card. All right. So if you ended things with this person, I'm going to say they're very, they're broken hearted here. That Three of Swords, the Hangman, and the High Priestess here. Yeah, I feel like this person, again, is show, it's showing me that this person is seeing things from a different perspective. And this may be somebody who wasn't listening to their intuition in the past. Could have even been a secret that came out that could have ended things between you and this person. Now, the other thing that I get here, too, is if this is not a situation where you ended it, it may be this person broke your heart because they were being secretive about something. Okay, they were not things were not progressing here. With this person, they were keeping things casual because they weren't being completely honest and open with you about what was going on, what was holding things back between you and them. Now, we have the Ace of Swords. Uh, there's an opportunity here. 
either clarity, getting some clarity or a new start. Let's see why the Ace of Swords is here, please. Okay, so we got an Emperor here, Aries energy, your energy. Oh, look at that. We have an Empress. We got an Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands. Pulling another card here. Justice. All right. You know, I do feel uh, Aries. We got uh, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck here. We got a Taurus energy. We have Libra energy here. What I see here, uh, the the Emperor, you got an Emperor and an Empress here. You also have the Eight of Cups. You got the Seven of Wands and you have the Justice. I feel this is a situation that there's something that this person hasn't been honest with you about, Aries. And I feel like your intuition, your higher self is telling you that. And I feel like because of that, that is why I feel you're either making the decision here or you made the decision to move on from this person. All right. You want somebody who's going to be honest, balanced, clear with you, upfront with you about the situation here. And some of you, I'm going to say this could even be somebody who is in another relationship or a marriage. Let's see why the Three of Pentacles is here, please. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, please? Full card. The Ace of Swords. Ten of Swords. Queen of Cups. Yeah. I feel like you feel here, um, Aries, emotionally it's going to be better for you to make the decision to put an end to a situation, even if you have mixed emotions or you're feeling conflicted, right? And the reason why you have mixed emotions or you're feeling conflicted is because I feel like there's a very strong connection between you and this person. And I feel with this person here, right? They feel familiar to you. And that's part of a, a karmic connection too. It's a past life connection. And this is someone that you feel, maybe you felt very uh, strongly connected, a lot of chemistry. But, you know, the two of you may have had some similar things in your life that has happened. Um, but I feel like you're taking that risk, that leap of faith towards something new because I feel like you know emotionally that this is going to be better for you. So I want to clarify now this Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? You got the Nine of Cups. Got the Two of Swords. Got the Ten of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck here, you have the five of pentacles. Yeah. So I feel like you're going to hear this person, hear from this person again. And as I was saying, it's going to be a tempting offer, right? Because you have st such a strong attraction to this person with the nine of cups and the two of swords and the 10 of pentacles. It's showing me here. This person just wants what they want, right? They just want to be with you. They want to feel happy. They like your energy. You know, maybe they want to party, have fun, whatever it is, but they're not making any decisions. They're here around commitment or they're not taking any action of what they need to do to be with you is the energy that I get there. Let's clarify um, this seven of cups. Why is the seven? Actually, I'm going to go to the, uh, the, uh, oh, the six of pentacles. Okay. Knight of cups, six of swords. Five of Cups, the Hierophant. Yeah. So really what I got here, look at that. Queen of Pentacles. You know your worth, Aries, and the energy that I see here. You got the Knight of Cups. You got the Six of Swords. You got the Five of Cups, and you have the Hierophant. This is showing me here. This person isn't offering you anything. So with that Six of Pentacles energy, I feel like you are moving on from this person. A lot of things are coming out. Like you know this, this connection is not good for you for whatever reason, right? Some of the things we talked about. And this is someone I feel you just feel very disappointed because 
they're not somebody here with a higher friend energy who is, you know, giving you what you need or wanting to work towards something more committed. They're, they're indecisive. They don't take action to make things happen. Now, let's clarify this Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here, please? Ace of Wands. Oh, there it is again. The Four of Wands. Eight of Swords. Again, it keeps repeating Seven of Swords. This person avoids making any commitments or they're not being completely honest with you um, about um, their situation, right? They're just taking and they're not giving. And that's why it's showing here that it's, I feel like you're going to be ending the situation because it's not giving you what you need emotionally, right? You have the Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, and you have the Eight of Swords. So the after may be tempting. You may have a strong connection with this person. You may even see this as somebody who could have a very passionate uh, connection, relationship. Maybe someone you see you could be happy with, but then you got the Eight of Swords here. There's conflict here because you're not seeing the movement or you're not seeing the progress, Aries is what I see with this person. So I know we spent a lot of time on this, you know, and I, I just feel like this is something that you've been struggling with. Look at that. The Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords. This is someone who can either make a decision or they don't take the action they need to take. And it's like you're carrying the weight of the connection because you're pretty clear here what you want. So with that, Aries, I'm just going to see here. You're going to hear from this person. I'm going to see here too. What does new love energy look like for Aries? If Aries decides to move on from this person, I don't know if that I'm going to take it to an extended Aries because it doesn't feel like this person is making any changes at the moment. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ten of Wands, Tower, Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. All right. The Strength card. All right. What I get, Aries, is I feel like the more this person reaches out to you, and, and I feel like when they do, it's going to be when you're not expecting it, if you have not heard from this person. And I feel like there's not a strong emotional balance, and, and I keep getting the repeating message, this is someone who can't give you what you need emotionally. And it's because of their lack of you know, decision or they're giving um, something, you know, they're giving their heart to someone else, right? They're not um, completely with you. You have the Ten of Cups and you have the Eight of Swords. And so this person just keeps you stuck. You got the Ten of Wands again and you got the Seven of Wands. So I get the energy, Aries, that this is a situation right now in the energy it's not showing the situation is going to go anywhere. And I don't feel like a new person is going to come into your life until this situation ends. And it may not be what you want to hear. I'm not going to take it to the extended because I just feel like this person isn't going to change. And I'm not really seeing, um, you know, a new love energy coming in. Because I feel like you're being guided here to really have the strength and the courage to really put an end to this situation if you're not getting what you need. Now, if this person comes around and then they give you what you need, but for a lot of you, I'm not seeing that. You got the star card here as well. This is part of your destiny. And like I said, I feel like this is a karmic karmic relationship. Someone in, Someone that you had to learn some sort of life lesson to prepare you for... Um, a better relationship and to be able to manifest the right person in your life. So Aries, um, I'm actually, I didn't pull any romance angel cards. So, ooh, oh boy, look what came out. Unrequited love and codependency. So again, you know, someone again who's not giving you what you need here. 
And I feel like this is you having a hard time letting go, right? Or codependency issues here. Let's pull a couple more cards, right? Look at that. You deserve love. Okay. A good thing here is I feel, right, that is an indication somebody new could, yeah. If you move on from this connection, there is somebody who is new going to come into your life. And look what you have on the bottom of the deck here, worth waiting for. So it's saying, Aries, there is definitely somebody here who is worth waiting for. Um, so it's you always have free will and choice. So Aries, I know this reading may not be what you want to hear, but this is what I see for you. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel of 